Hello, and welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video, and that is the good old Zuda. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be playing Zuda with a couple of friends, fighting against them too. It's going to be on Mountain, because, uh, for some reason, uh, Mountain is a map in this game. <laughs> uh, so I decided to pick a, a snipe and rate type. And, uh, by the way, me and Stefan picked Heavy Stagger low-cost suits at a, uh high cost match i want to say 550 600 so it can go poorly it can go not poorly who knows all i know is i shot a shield now i have two more shots left of this thing so yeah the zoot is a pretty good suit it's a really fast uh of course it's got the heavy stagger it, and you know it does a lot of damage to support types at its own cost range and yeah 2000 shots on i think that was a general that's pretty good damage i think uh Oh, missed that. But yeah, you only get three shots, and uh, you also get a uh, what's it called? Little missile thing. I keep always, I always forget what it's called. But you know, it's a little tube, and it has a missile on the end of it. You shoot it, and it goes pew, and then blows up. That's <laughs> what the Zoagok has. It's, a lot of suits have it. The Fritz helmet on the uh, the Zaku Kai. It'll probably show up here, and I'll get to read what his name is. I'm pretty sure it's like the Stormfaust. That's what it's called. Uh. And of course, it also has the um, a uh, a heat hawk, a heat hawk, yeah. But uh, it doesn't have balancers, which is kind of weird for a suit like this. Especially now that I'm gonna go watch Igloo. So uh, speaking of, I down uh, not downloaded. No, no, no. I bought. Uh, uh, let's see. I bought the original series of Gundam. The original series, not the original trilogy of movies. The original series, all of its good, cheesy, 70s mecha glory. And then also bought uh, Igloo, which is the 3D uh, CGI kind of show, which apparently one of my friends says it's really bad, but it seems to me that the show is well-received because uh, it always gets a rep uh, in a lot of Gundam games. Uh, it's, it's always usually the Zuda or the Hidolfer, in both, you know, if you're Maxi Boost versus, or Extreme versus, whatever the game is. Uh, so, it, it looks to me that the, the show is well received, although the, the CGI looks kind of dated. But, you know, I'm fine with it. I can, I can hang with it. It doesn't look, like, distractingly bad or anything. Uh, I mean, the suits look good, and I guess that's what matters here, because it's about the suits. And that's what interests me in getting Igloo, along with the original series. Could have been like the 8th MS team, or something like that. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Uh, yeah, 550 suit. Uh, could have been like the MS team, or uh, any other suit or series. My bad. No, I picked Igloo. Because uh, the concept of the show interests me a lot. It's about, you know, Zeon fucking up their wonder weapons. <laughs> or their one wonder waffens, or whatever they call it in... Germany back then, which I guess is kind of the basis of the show, because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but back then in the good old bad Germany, I don't know if I can even say the name of the country without getting, I don't know, banned off YouTube forever, because YouTube's like that sometimes. Uh, good old bad Germany in the 1940s. They like to experiment with a lot of weapons. <laughs> it's It's been noted uh, a lot. I'm pretty sure they even went to go look after the Holy Grail. Yeah, they were into that paranormal shit and that other stuff. The, there's a conspiracy of them making UFOs and... Uh, uh, ooh, I had a retreat here because they're trying to push up on me. Uh, I think they even made a weather gun, which actually worked. I'm trying to remember. I think it was on the Discovery Channel or something where they actually like rebuilt or yeah, like, using like the schematics or something. It actually worked, but it was kind of ineffective. Uh, but it still worked. It was a weather gun. Uh, and some other crazy shit, because you know how they are. And uh, so, you know, that uh, I'm a little bit interested in that kind of stuff of, of history. So Igloo interests me. It's like, oh, hey, they all have these special weapons and prototypes. Let's see how they fuck them up. <laughs> Let's see how many uh, ace pilots they just throw away along with their billions of dollars in prototypes. So, you know, you get a glimpse of uh, the Xeon side of stuff. Which interest, interested me, so I'm going to get it. And hopefully the CGI isn't, like, super bad. I mean, it looks, like I said, it looks pretty fine on the, the mecha side of stuff. Uh, the human faces kind of look a little bit weird, but that's all fine. And, of course, I get the original series of Gundam, which 
Uh, a lot of people say the animation's super bad. Watch the movie trilogy instead. Well, it's like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I, want, I'll, I like to look at the series as it was originally made. I want to see all that crappy, uh, oh, what's it called? The G-Bull? Not the G-Bull. You know what it transforms into. How the Gundam was modular and all that. Interesting stuff. You know, that's how mechas were back then. They were kind of like Transformers. Uh, I'm trying to remember if Transformers came out after Gundam or not. I think it did. Uh, animation looks a little bit better in uh, Transformers. But, uh, yeah, a lot of those old shows were kind of look like that, which I don't mind. I watch a lot of older shows, so I don't mind how the animation looks. It's just, you know, about everything else. And I think I'll enjoy it because, you know, I've, I've enjoyed the, the way Gundam is uh, without having to watch the series. I've only watched little snips of snippets of it. So now, uh, you know, if you don't know, Gundam Info posted a lot of movies and uh, episodes of their OVAs, which, uh, I'll go fucking watch those right now, because I'm going to. Maybe I'll buy a DVD or Blu-ray of it. I keep saying DVD, which I'm buying Blu-rays of the, the, the discs, because, you know, my PS4 can play those. Uh, and yeah, back to this match. Yeah, the Zuda. <laughs> uh, the Zuda is a, is a wonderful suit, of course, at high cost. It's only good for just uh, pissing off other suits, <laughs> other players, because of its heavy stagger. Although, you can get away with a, a lot because you're fast. Uh, not fast on foot, but when you're boosting, you're pretty fast. Uh, I wish it had balancers, though, because it doesn't make any sense for the suit not to have balancers. Uh, the Zuda F, I believe, has balancers. And that I, yeah, that's fine, it's the Zuda F. Uh, and I want to say something else. Oh, yeah, I, the shield. I, I think I brought this up the last time I played the Zuda F, or the Zuda, is that it has shield tackle, but it doesn't have, like, a shield exactly. I know I know the shield is on its shoulder there. I know that's the shield. That's physically the shield, but, like, in the game, it doesn't have a shield. And also, that, <laughs> that Unit 4 looked like he was charging. He got shot before he can even finish it. I think that was the BST Unit 4. So, uh, if that was the regular Unit 4, I probably would have fucking dead right there. But because it's kind of like the Zock Laser, it hit me with the first part of its uh, attack, and then I just it fucking murdered it. And, uh, yeah, let's see if we can annoy some more people. Got another kill off. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, it appears that... Uh, we're probably not going to win this, but we did make it pretty close. I will, I will say that, uh, you know, especially since we have two suits that are way low cost. <laughs> and uh, Gendry played the uh, the Schwartzum Diaz, which we all agree is a not a good suit. I don't know how I thought that was going to reach. That is not a Federation downswing. That is a Heat Hawk, heat hawk downswing, and I'm not a Hyzak. Uh, maybe I can trip him up. I think he did a tackle, I think. No, he just ran away, so maybe I can get one more shot off on him. Bada buoy. <laughs> Bada buoy, yeah. There you go, downswing on him. That's a nice, good old downswing kill. And let's see if we can hit one more person. Uh, no. Hit the side of the mountain instead. Gosh darn it. Oh, well. Well, that's a timeout. We'll see what we did. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a mission failed. Wah, wah. We'll see what we got. It doesn't matter. We're playing with friends. Uh, hey, top individual score with the Zuda. Awesome. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't expect that. And, uh, fifth place with five kills and one death. Interesting. And that was only fifth place. And, of course, my, uh, my rival had to be the general at, that's at first place. So, <laughs> couldn't have been Honey in his good plant, who's also a Ray type, but, yeah, that's whatever. And, uh, yeah, third place in individual score, and, you know, second in kills, and first in death, so I did pretty all right there with the Zuda. You know, I guess I kind of did what it was intended for, just boosting around, firing at people, boosting back, or just getting out of people's way. And, uh, yeah, that's the Zuda, which, again, I guess I'll repeat what it has and doesn't have. It's a very fast suit, High boost speed, low walking speed, so you want to boost around everywhere. It's got the heavy stagger um, anti-ship rifle, which if you first get it and you don't have that, it starts off with the machine gun, which I don't know how good it is on that exactly, uh, especially since you don't have balancers. Maybe it does have balancers, but I've been trying to use it, and you saw in that video I just couldn't do it for some reason. 
So I have to double check on if it has it or not, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. The Zuda F has balancers. Um, so it's a speedy suit that can get you to a sniping spot. You snipe at somebody, then you move on. And if they're a support type, you can annoy the piss out of them because they can't really move. <laughs> so <laughs> you're free to shoot at them. And it does a lot, like 3,000 damage. So that's a pretty good suit. Uh, and, you know, it worked for me at high cost, but, you know, uh, yeah, we, we lost by 2,000 points. So it was, it, was a, it was a pretty nice match. And, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, type up in the uh, the comment section what you feel about the uh, the Zuda. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And, you know, type up uh, what you feel about the original Gundam series or uh, Igloo. Uh, do you guys like, the, like that show or shows? Do you hate them? Because, again... Uh, some people don't like they don't like the way. Well, of course, it's really dated looking the 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 original show, yeah, but some people like it. And uh, of course, you know it's got that good old fashioned cheese cheesiness going on with it. Uh, and then with Igloo, it's a CGI show, which CGI typically, you know, the 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 more years we go that go on, you know, the more dated it'll start looking. And uh, from what I can tell, the human humans are kind of dated looking, and then the uh, the machines look all right. And of course, we still get a lot of suits from there showing up in other other series. So maybe maybe it's pretty good. Maybe just the Zuda and the Hidolfer episodes are really good. <laughs> uh, I wonder if it's canon though. Uh, I know uh, I think it was Bandai Sunrise, whoever they had a whole round table meeting about what's canon or not or what's black white and gray and you know you can i think what they're trying to do is like you can take different aspects of the series uh of the whole gundam as a whole and then make your own canon out of it i think that's what they're trying to go for if not but i wonder if igloo is canon i wonder if somehow you can work that in with origin <laughs> i know origin isn't canon i don't think but you know you can do something like oh hey not only was the uh, you know, we had the Wham, Bam, whatever the fuck the, uh, the first suits were called, the Bugu. We also had, uh, you know, before we made the, the mass-produced Zaku, it had to compete with other suits. One of those was the Zuda. Shit like that, you know. Um, maybe they maybe they'll have, like, a Bible coming out, the Gundam Bible. And, uh, that's kind of like what, everything that's canon that happened, and what can happen, stuff like that. I know Fallout, Fallout has a Fallout Bible. Uh... I wonder if Gundam will have that. But, um, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.